All I really wanna see is up. I don't really need a D, I need a All a bad bitch need is up. I don't want to start this video off with a complaint, but the only thing I dislike about the bath cart it's just that it starts at 11.30, which is like so late. Like, I've been up since seven, I'm ready to go. I've had so much time before that I've just been in my candle studio, but this is my outfit of the day and I'm going to head off now to work. And I'll still be like 20 minutes early. I am a little bit nervous just because I was supposed to have like four training shifts before I did it by myself. And so last time I was mostly just watching the girl and then of course like running them through. But I had like help setting it up and doing all of that. And she gave me directions to get around the course and I've been studying the map and my notes from last time like crazy. But I'm just so worried like, you know, that I'm going to like not see a tea box or people teeing off or or get lost and just be going in circles or I don't know because last time there's a lot of people saying oh can you take this to my buddies at this hole can you take this to my buddies at this hole and if they do that now I'm gonna have no idea where that is um so yeah I only had one train shift but I am so excited I had so much fun last time and so I am ready to go yeah somebody left their coffee here I'm really behind schedule right now, which is not good. But I kind of expected it for my first day, which is why I came early. But I'm just trying to load this up as fast as possible. I still need to go like get the pops and the hard liquors. Already made like hundred dollars of sales, and I've only been to one hole. I'm trying to be mindful of, of people teeing off and also I'm supposed to be going in the opposite direction of them but currently I'm going in the same direction but I swear this is the route they had to take so I don't know. So I see people teeing off up there so I'm just aiming my cart so that the windshield would get hit and not me. Okay so I think I'm like in this area because I saw a whole 14. The only thing is I thought I was over here, but it turns out I'm way over here. So I definitely did not go up this way. I turned too early. And so yeah, I'm around here. So I'm gonna go up and then back down 10. And then I'm gonna go back around and hit these people that I missed. Uh, while these guys are hanging off, I just thought I would talk about. So like, for example, ciders and coolers that are short cans. Oh, all tall cans, let's do that. I have to mark down what I sold, but there's not like a lot of space for it, and then it says 875, and that's a typo, it's 750, and then I have to add it manually, so it takes a little while to process people. I just restocked, and now I am off on the course again. I ran into one of the marshals, and he's like, oh yeah, there's some people at the back nine, not asking for you, but there's a big crowd over there, and I was like, oh, that's perfect, except I don't know how to get there, and he's like, ah, just drive in circles, you'll find it eventually. So I'm glad they have the same energy and vibes. I just saw a guy pee right beside me. But I'm more upset that I was supposed to cut through four, but I didn't. I think I passed it, so I don't know where I am. There's a baby bunny. So cute. So cute. Some people are teeing off, but I'm still looking for hole number four. I don't think I passed it, but yeah, it astounds me that like people are so comfortable to pee in public. Like, like I knew I was there. He just turned around and started peeing against a bush, and I was right there. This is where I am right now, and I just gotta decide which route I want to go. I'm kind of like these people are more like in the middle but I just saw a lamb I think whereas these ones might go into the clubhouse 16, 17, 18 but I kind of want to hit 10 I think I'm going to turn left once these people are done done doing this because this is like a pretty like middle area it felt like a lot less stop and go 
when Dasha was here because I feel like I had somebody to talk to the whole time. Whereas now it's very like stop and go. Also, we had multiple tournaments of guys in their 20s just buying shots for each other. So that probably helped too, is that we were really busy. But he knows where the food's at. Hi. This tape is ruining everything. But other than that, this looks so nice. So I stopped my cart and angled it like I'm supposed to when people are teeing off. But I guess this one hole goes over top of the pathway. And so I was just stopped completely in their way. That was awkward. Luckily the guys were nice and they told me like, hey, wanna move? And I was like, thanks. Also, sometimes people order lots of things and it makes it hard for me to remember if I've tallied it or not. Or it's like a flipping mess, like this one got merged. Like this one is crazy. I saw on YouTube that I had to stop when they're putting. But I'm not really sure like here I do. But it was in like golf etiquette and YouTube videos. So. I'm stopped again because another group is teeing off and that one just finished putting and took forever and now another group's teeing off right away. They're just back to back while it got on the path. <laughs> but yeah, it's a lot more stop and go and a lot less sales than last time. Last time it was so sunny out though and we had like three tournaments of all 20 year olds. And so we were making tons of money, like shots just all around. Whereas today I've only sold three shots total. And last time we had over 76 shots of just one kind. Like we went through five bottles of Pink Whitney and I think like two or three bottles of tequila. Then we brought out Jägermeister. So today is a lot slower. That was pretty close. Also, riding on this like dust is making my hands like grimy. It really is so beautiful to be out here. Like what a good chill summer job. I'm hiding from their tea, but I put myself right beside this one. And maybe you're like, Sam, you shouldn't be documenting yourself doing the wrong things or not knowing what to do. But this is life, this is real life. This is me, this is the girl I trained with. Like, you know, people take themselves too seriously. It's time to chill. I finally got some more shots sold, only four, so we're doubling our amount. But they said like, oh, tell the tournament behind. The people teeing off are waving me through. But they told me get the people behind to give them shots, but they didn't want it. I just did another restart. Overall, it's pretty slow today. I am literally like at the edge's edge on one of my lines. Also, some of these people like take so many practice swings before they swing. And it's like, dude, you're on hole like 14. This whole game has been a practice swing. How many more times do you need to air hit a ball? I don't get it. Sometimes I get big groups of people back to back and I'm really second guessing if I wrote everything down. Like I try to write it down and put it so they pay before I even give it to them. Oh man, I'm second guessing myself. This is kind of where we're at. Also in my restock, I forgot to grab chocolate. I grabbed literally everything else and I'm really craving a Kit Kat. Finally, we have some young guys buying some shots. This is when the day starts to get fun. And also, since their shots are more expensive, the tip percentage goes up. You know, like if it's 10% on $8 versus $80, there's a big difference. This guy was just so annoying. Like, most people are really awesome and you are like vibing, it's fun, lighthearted. Well, I go around, I say to the people, are you good? They give me a thumbs back, we're good. And so anyways, I asked this guy, you good? Give him the thumbs up, and he goes. And so I'm like, okay, he's good. I'm just gonna stop here because those people are teeing over there. But then he's like waving me down and the other people, I've already passed him, and the other people are like, look, he's wants something. And I'm like, oh, okay, so I go back for him. 
and he's so rude. He's like, most of the time somebody gives you a thumbs up, it means they want something. And I was like, oh, actually, sir, most of the time people give me a thumbs up, it's been meaning that they're good. He's like, well, like most of the time. And he's like trying to argue with me about the most of the times. Um, I'm the one literally going around the cart, asking everybody if they're good, thumbs up, we're good. <sighs> he's the first person who's given me a thumbs up that I like, you know, I've already done my training day and when they give me the thumbs up, it means, oh, like, you know, the first day I was like, oh, do you want something? Oh, can I get you something? Oh, does that mean you're good? You know, asking all the questions and I just learn. They give a thumbs up, they're good. They'll like nod and start looking for their wallet if they want something. But yeah, I was just like, why are you trying to argue with me? I don't know, I'm all for learning, but I'm not about that negative energy. That one was a close one. Some guys are falling up right now. It's so weird because the course is kind of like held up. There's like patchy holes because there is a team. Nobody's on it. very delish and I hear a noise which makes me think one of these popped which I do not want to pay for if it's like if I'm supposed to pay for it I don't know okay this is my last lap not making many just taking everything out yeah. 